पार्ट टू ऑफ कंप्लीट डेंटियो प्रोस्टोरोंटिक्स वाइवा क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स सो वॉट आर द आइडियल रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ आर्टिकुलेटर्स इन एन आर्टिकुलेटर द मूविंग पार्ट शुड मूव फ्रीली एंड बी एक्यूरेटली मशीन इट शुड ओपन एंड क्लोज इन हिंज मूवमेंट इट शुड अलाउ फॉर प्रोट्रूसिव एंड लेटरल मोशन इट शुड एक्सेप्ट फेस बो ट्रांसफर इट शुड हैव अ पॉजिटिव एंटीयर स्टॉक इट शुड होल्ड दी कास्ट इन करेक्ट हॉरिजोंटल एंड वर्टिकल पोजिशन एंड द नॉन मूविंग पार्ट शुड बी ऑफ रिजिड कंस्ट्रक्शन वॉट आर दी पार्ट्स ऑफ आर्टिकुलेटर इन एन आर्टिकुलेटर देर इज एन अपर मेम्बर लोअर मेम्बर कॉन्डाइला गाइडेंस वर्टिकल रॉड और इंसाइजल पिन एंड इंसाइजल गाइड टेबल वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आर्कन एंड नॉन आर्कन आर्टिकुलेटर इन एन आर्कन आर्टिकुलेटर The condylar guidance is attached to the upper member, and condylar element is attached to the lower member. While in a non-arcan articulator, the condylar guidance is attached to the lower member, and condylar element is attached to the upper member. What is posterior palatal seal area? Posterior palatal seal area is a soft tissue at or along the junction of hard and soft palate. on which pressure within the physiological limits of tissues can be applied to aid in the retention of denture what are the functions of posterior palatal seal area so the primary function of posterior palatal seal area is retention of maxillary denture the other functions are that it aids in the confidence and comfort to the patient it helps to overcome the gagging reflex it compensates for the polymerization shrinkage of methyl methacrylate resin it prevents ingress of fluid air and food between denture and tissue it provides embedded sunken distal border which is less conspicuous to tongue what is vibrating line vibrating line is the imaginary line across the posterior part of the palate marking the division between the movable and immovable tissues of the soft palate which can be identified when the movable tissues are moving there are two different vibrating lines present anterior vibrating line and posterior vibrating line posterior palatal seal area is the area present between anterior vibrating line and posterior vibrating line the anterior vibrating line is of cupid bow shape because of the presence of posterior nasal spine what are the different methods of recording posterior palatal seal area so there are three techniques described conventional technique fluid wax technique and arbitrary scraping technique what is bennett movement bennett movement is the bodily lateral movement or lateral shift of the mandible resulting from the movements of the condyles along the lateral inclines along the mandibular fossae in lateral jaw movements what is jaw relation jaw relation is any spatial relationship of the mandible to the maxilla what are the different types of jaw relations recorded in a complete denture patient so we record three different types of jaw relations orientation jaw relation vertical jaw relation and horizontal jaw relation horizontal jaw relation is of two types centric jaw relation and eccentric jaw relation what is orientation jaw relation orientation jaw relation is the jaw relation when the mandible is kept in its most posterior position it can rotate in the sagittal plane around an imaginary transverse axis passing through or near the condyles what is face bow face bow is an instrument used to record the spatial relationship of maxillary arch to some anatomic reference point or points and then transfer this relationship to an articulator it orients the dental cast in the same relationship to the opening axis of the articulator customarily the anatomic references are the mandibular transverse horizontal axis and one other selected anterior reference point different types of face bows face bows are of two types arbitrarily arbitrary and kinematic or hinge bow under arbitrary uh, face bow there are uh, there is facial type earpiece type hanau face bow slidematic 
गाइसी फेसबुक ट्वेल्वो एंड विपिक्स वॉट आर दार्ट डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ फेसबुक फेसबुक हैज अ यू शेप फ्रेम कॉन्डाइलर रॉड्स वाइट फॉक लॉकिंग डिवाइस एंड और बाइटल पॉइंटर विथ क्लैम्प वॉट इज वर्टिकल जो रिलेशन वर्टिकल जो रिलेशन इज द लेंथ ऑफ द फेस एज डिटरमाइन बाई द अमाउंट ऑफ सेपरेशन ऑफ द जॉज वॉट आर डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग वर्टिकल जो रिलेशन सो वी कैन रिकॉर्ड वर्टिकल जो रिलेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ मैकेनिकल मैथड्स एंड फिजियोलॉजिकल मैथड्स मैकेनिकल मैथड्स इंक्लूड द रिज रिलेशन and use of pre extraction records like profile photographs radiographs articulated cast and facial measurements and physiological methods include use of powerpoint wax occlusal rims physiological rest position phonetics aesthetics swallowing threshold tactile sense and patient's perception of comfort what is freeway space freeway space is the difference between the rest vertical dimension and the occlusal vertical dimension the normal value is 2 to 4 mm what is centric jaw relation centric jaw relation is the maxillary mandibular relation independent of tooth contact in which the condyles articulate in the anterior superior position against the posterior slopes of articular eminences in this position the mandible is restricted to a purely rotatory movement from this unrestrained physiologic maxillary mandibular relationship the patient can make vertical lateral or protrusive movements it is a clinically useful repeatable reference position what are the different methods of recording centric jaw relation so there are uh, these methods include physiological methods functional methods graphic methods and radiographic method the physiological methods include tactile method pressureless method and pressure method the functional methods are needle house method and patterson method and graphic methods include use of extra oral and intra oral tracers what are the uh, different criteria which uh, helps in selection of anterior teeth so anterior uh, anterior teeth selection it uh, mainly divided into three categories um uh, the size of teeth form of teeth and shade of teeth the size of teeth can be selected on the basis of pre extraction records like uh, um pre extraction photographs um extracted teeth or uh, uh, dentition of the close relatives then various anthropological measurements use of different anatomical landmarks uh various theoretical concepts and other factors the form of teeth can be selected on the basis of facial form patient's profile and dentogenic concept and the shade of teeth can be selected on the basis of age habits complexion color of the eye and color of patient's hair what is dentogenic concept or spa factor so it was first described by fresh and fisher according to this the sex personality and age of the patient determine the form of the anterior teeth what are the different criteria which are used for selection of posterior teeth so posterior for posterior teeth selection two different criteria are important the size of teeth and form of teeth the size of teeth can be selected on the basis of the available buccolingual width the available mesodistal length and occlusal gingival length the form of teeth can be selected on the basis of condylar inclination the height of the residual ridge patient's age the ridge relationship and hanaus quint what are the different types of denture teeth available so the denture teeth can be classified on the basis of morphology as anatomic teeth semi anatomic teeth non anatomic teeth and special forms are also available on the basis of material we have acrylic teeth porcelain teeth and composite teeth what is occlusion occlusion is the static relationship between the incising or the masticating surfaces of the maxillary or mandibular teeth or tooth analogs what is overjet 
ओवर जेट इज़ द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ टीथ बियॉन्ड देयर एंटागोनिस्ट इन द हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लेन सो बेसिकली इट इज़ द हॉरिजॉन्टल ओवरलैप बिटवीन मैक्सलरी एंड मैंडबुलर एंटीरियर टीथ वॉट इज ओवर बाइट ओवर बाइट इज द वर्टिकल रिलेशनशिप ऑफ द इंसाइजल एजेस ऑफ द मैक्सलरी इंसाइजर्स टू द मैंडबुलर इंसाइजर्स वेन द टीथ आर इन मैक्सिमल इंटकसबल पोजिशन What are the different occlusal schemes followed in a complete denture patient? So there are three main occlusal schemes: balanced occlusion, monoplane occlusion, and lingualized occlusion. What is balanced occlusion? Balanced occlusion is the simultaneous contacting of the maxillary and mandibular teeth on the right and left, and in the posterior and anterior occlusal areas in centric and eccentric positions. What is Hanau's squint? So, Hanau's squint are basically there are factors which are uh, considered in balance occlusion. So, originally nine factors were given by Hanau. These included horizontal condylar inclination, compensating curve, protrusive incisal guidance, plane of orientation, buccolingual inclination of tooth axis, sagittal condylar pathway, sagittal incisal guidance, tooth alignment, and relative cusp height. later is what uh, sorry later it was modified into five uh, factors these includes condylar guidance incisal guidance compensating curves relative cusp height and plane of orientation of occlusal plane what is condylar guidance condylar guidance is the mandibular guidance generated by the condyle and articular disc traversing the contour of the articular eminence or it is the mechanical form located in the posterior region of an articulator that controls movement of its mobile member what is incisal guidance incisal guidance is the influence of the contacting surfaces of the mandibular and maxillary anterior teeth on mandibular movements what is compensatory curve it is the anterior posterior and medial lateral curving within the alignment of the occluding surfaces and incisal edges of artificial teeth that is used to develop balanced occlusion so different types of compensatory curves include curve of sp monson curve wilson's curve and pleasure curve curve of sp is the anatomic curvature of the occlusal alignment of teeth beginning at the tip of the lower canine and following the buccal cusp of the natural premolars and molars continuing to the anterior border of the ramus the monson curve is the curve of occlusion in which each cusp and incisal edge touches or conforms to a segment of a sphere of 8 inches in diameter with its center in the region of the glabella the wilson's curve is a curve of occlusion which is convex upwards and pleasure curve is the curve of occlusion which in transverse cross section conforms to a line which is convex upward except for the last molars what are the different sequelae of wearing complete denture so uh, these sequelae can be divided into direct sequelae and indirect sequelae the direct sequelae include uh, denture stomatitis flabby ridge traumatic ulcers epulis visceratum burning mouth syndrome gagging and residual ridge resorption the indirect sequelae are atrophy of masticatory muscles and nutritional deficiencies what is combination syndrome so combination syndrome is also known as kelly syndrome because it was first identified by kelly in 1972 in patients wearing a maxillary complete denture opposing a mandibular distal extension prosthesis so it is characterized by increased resorption of anterior maxilla and formation of flabby tissue in the anterior maxillary region the occlusal plane is tilted anteriorly upward and posteriorly downward there is formation of epulis visceratum there is fibrous overgrowth of maxillary tuberosity resorption occurs in the mandibular posterior region and there is supra eruption of mandibular anterior teeth what is relining relining is a procedure to resurface the tissue surface of the denture with new base material to make the denture fit more accurately what is rebasing 
Rebasing is a process of refitting a denture by the replacement of the denture base material. What is an overdenture? Overdenture is any removable dental prosthesis that covers and rests on one or more remaining natural teeth, the roots of rem, uh, natural teeth and or dental implants. What are the advantages and disadvantages of overdenture? So advantages are that it results into the reduced rate of risk resorption. It improves the retention and stability of denture. There is improved proprioception and it also give a psychological benefit to the patient. The disadvantages are that the high incidence of caries and periodontal disease uh, occur around abutments. It is more expensive than a conventional complete denture and it cannot be used in cases with reduced interarch space or bony undercut adjacent to abutments. What is immediate denture? Immediate denture is a complete or removable partial denture constructed for insertion immediately following the removal of natural teeth. What are the advantages and disadvantages of immediate denture? So advantages are that it gives a psychological benefit to the patient. The muscle tone, tongue size and vertical dimensions are preserved. The central jaw relation is easy to record. There is less post-operative pain, hemorrhage and infection. The tooth size, shape and shade selection and arrangement are easy. The disadvantages are that it requires more chair side time. It is more expensive than a conventional complete denture. Trying in procedure is not possible and there is initial discomfort. Thank you.